In the hustle and bustle of our daily lives, it's easy to overlook the importance of self-care. We often prioritize the needs of others, our work responsibilities, and countless other obligations, leaving little time or energy for ourselves. However, neglecting our own well-being can have detrimental effects on our physical, mental, and emotional health. But what if I told you that self-care doesn't have to be complicated or time-consuming? In fact, some of the most impactful acts of self-care are the smallest and simplest ones, the tiny gestures that we can incorporate into our daily routines without much effort or sacrifice. In this episode, we're going to explore the concept of tiny self-care, seven small yet powerful ways to prioritize your well-being and nurture your soul. From moments of mindfulness to simple acts of kindness, these tiny habits have the potential to make a big difference in how you feel and how you navigate the world around you. So, if you're ready to discover the transformative power of small actions, join us as we delve into seven tiny ways to take better care of yourself. Remember, self-care is not selfish, it's a vital component of living a fulfilling and balanced life. Let's embark on this journey together and make self-care a non-negotiable priority in our lives. Chapter 1. Cultivating a Grateful Heart – The Power of Daily Gratitude Practices In a world filled with distractions and challenges, it's easy to overlook the blessings that surround us. Yet, amidst the chaos of daily life lies a potent tool for nurturing our well-being – gratitude. Gratitude is not merely a fleeting emotion or a polite gesture, it's a transformative practice that can profoundly impact our mental, emotional, and even physical health. At its core, gratitude is about acknowledging and appreciating the abundance in our lives, however small or seemingly insignificant it may seem. It's about shifting our focus from what's lacking to what's present, from what's wrong to what's right. And the beauty of gratitude lies in its simplicity, it doesn't require grand gestures or elaborate rituals. Instead, it invites us to pause, reflect, and find moments of joy and appreciation in the ordinary moments of life. Research in the field of positive psychology has revealed the numerous benefits of practicing gratitude regularly. Studies have shown that individuals who cultivate a habit of gratitude experience greater levels of happiness, lower levels of stress and depression, and improved overall well-being. By focusing on the positive aspects of our lives, we can rewire our brains to notice and savor the good, even in the midst of adversity. So, how can we incorporate gratitude into our daily lives? There are countless simple yet impactful ways to practice gratitude, from keeping a gratitude journal to expressing appreciation to others, to savoring the small moments of joy that often go unnoticed. Whether it's taking a moment to admire the beauty of a sunrise, expressing gratitude for a delicious meal, or reflecting on the support of loved ones, there are endless opportunities to cultivate a grateful heart. Chapter 2 – Embrace Moments of Mindfulness in Your Daily Routine In the fast-paced world we live in, it's all too easy to get swept up in the chaos of our daily lives. We rush from one task to the next, our minds constantly buzzing with thoughts and worries about the past and the future. However, amidst the hustle and bustle lies an oasis of calm and tranquility, mindfulness. Mindfulness is the practice of being fully present in the moment, without judgment or distraction. It's about bringing your awareness to the here and now, and fully engaging with whatever you're doing, whether it's eating, walking, or simply breathing. And while mindfulness may seem like a lofty goal reserved for meditation gurus and spiritual seekers, the truth is that it can be cultivated in even the most mundane moments of our daily lives. One simple way to incorporate mindfulness into your daily routine is to practice mindful breathing. Take a few moments throughout your day to pause and focus on your breath. Notice the sensation of the air entering and leaving your nostrils, the rise and fall of your chest, and the rhythmic pattern of your breathing. By bringing your attention to your breath, you can anchor yourself in the present moment and find a sense of calm amidst the chaos. Another way to embrace mindfulness is to practice mindful eating. 
Instead of rushing through your meals while scrolling through your phone or watching TV, take the time to savor each bite. Notice the colors, textures, and flavors of your food and pay attention to how it nourishes your body. By eating mindfully, you can cultivate a greater appreciation for the food you eat and develop a healthier relationship with eating. In addition to mindful breathing and eating, there are countless other ways to incorporate mindfulness into your daily routine. Whether it's taking a mindful walk in nature, practicing mindful listening in conversations, or simply pausing to appreciate the beauty around you, there are endless opportunities to bring mindfulness into your life. By embracing moments of mindfulness in your daily routine, you can cultivate a greater sense of presence, peace, and well-being. So, take a few moments each day to pause, breathe, and fully engage with the present moment. Your mind and body will thank you for it. Chapter 3. Prioritize Rest and Renewal In our modern society, the importance of rest and relaxation often gets overlooked amidst the hustle and bustle of daily life. We live in a culture that glorifies busyness and productivity, leading many of us to neglect our need for rest and renewal. However, prioritizing rest is essential for maintaining our physical, mental, and emotional well-being. Rest doesn't just mean getting enough sleep at night, although that is certainly crucial for our health. It also means taking breaks throughout the day to recharge and rejuvenate. Whether it's a short nap, a leisurely walk, or a few moments of quiet meditation, Finding ways to rest and relax amidst our busy schedules is essential for replenishing our energy reserves and reducing stress. In addition to rest, renewal is also important for maintaining our overall well-being. Renewal involves engaging in activities that nourish our souls and bring us joy and fulfillment. Whether it's spending time with loved ones, pursuing hobbies and interests, or simply taking time to connect with ourselves, Prioritizing activities that bring us happiness and fulfillment is essential for living a balanced and fulfilling life. It's important to recognize that rest and renewal look different for everyone, and what works for one person may not work for another. The key is to listen to your body and your intuition and prioritize activities that help you feel rested, rejuvenated, and recharged. By prioritizing rest and renewal in our daily lives, we can reduce stress, improve our mood, and enhance our overall well-being. So, take the time to rest and recharge, and make self-care a non-negotiable priority in your life. Your mind, body, and spirit will thank you for it. Chapter 4. I Connect With Nature In our increasingly urbanized and technology-driven world, it's all too easy to become disconnected from the natural world around us. Yet, spending time in nature has been shown to have numerous benefits for our physical, mental, and emotional well-being. From reducing stress and anxiety to boosting mood and creativity, the healing power of nature is undeniable. One of the simplest ways to incorporate nature into your daily life is to spend time outdoors whenever possible. Whether it's going for a walk in the park, hiking in the mountains, or simply sitting under a tree and listening to the sounds of nature, immersing yourself in the natural world can have profound effects on your well-being. Even if you live in a bustling city, there are still opportunities to connect with nature. Take a walk in a nearby park, visit a botanical garden, or simply spend time tending to plants on your balcony or windowsill. By bringing elements of nature into your environment, you can experience many of the same benefits as being in the great outdoors. In addition to spending time outdoors, another way to connect with nature is to practice mindfulness in nature. Take the time to fully engage your senses and immerse yourself in the sights, sounds, and smells of the natural world. Notice the beauty of a blooming flower, the sound of birds chirping in the trees, and the feel of the sun on your skin. By being fully present in nature, you can experience a sense of peace, awe, and connection that can be deeply nourishing for the soul. Ultimately, connecting with nature is about cultivating a deeper appreciation for the world around us and recognizing our interconnectedness with all living things. 
By prioritizing time in nature and practicing mindfulness in our interactions with the natural world, we can experience greater well-being, harmony, and balance in our lives. So, take a step outside, breathe in the fresh air, and let nature work its magic on your mind, body, and spirit. Chapter 5. Nurture Your Creativity Creativity is not just reserved for artists and musicians, it's a fundamental aspect of the human experience that exists within all of us. Whether it's through painting, writing, cooking, or problem-solving, we all have the capacity to tap into our creative potential and express ourselves in unique and meaningful ways. Nurturing your creativity is not only a source of joy and fulfillment, but also an essential component of self-care. One way to nurture your creativity is to carve out dedicated time and space for creative expression. Set aside a few minutes each day to engage in a creative activity that brings you joy, whether it's doodling in a sketchbook, writing in a journal, or experimenting with a new recipe in the kitchen. By making creativity a regular part of your routine, you can tap into your inner artist and unleash your imagination. Another way to nurture your creativity is to seek inspiration from the world around you. Take the time to explore new places, try new experiences, and expose yourself to different cultures and perspectives. Whether it's visiting an art museum, attending a live performance, or taking a spontaneous road trip, exposing yourself to new stimuli can ignite your creativity and fuel your imagination. In addition to seeking external inspiration, it's also important to cultivate an internal environment that is conducive to creativity. This means nurturing your curiosity, embracing experimentation, and letting go of perfectionism. Allow yourself to make mistakes, take risks, and explore new ideas without fear of judgment or failure. By adopting a mindset of curiosity and openness, you can tap into your creative potential and unleash your inner genius. Ultimately, nurturing your creativity is about honoring your unique voice and expressing yourself authentically in the world. Whether you're creating art for yourself or sharing it with others, the act of creativity is a powerful form of self-expression that can bring joy, meaning, and fulfillment to your life. So, don't be afraid to let your imagination run wild and embrace the creative spirit within you. Chapter 6. Cultivate Meaningful Connections Human beings are inherently social creatures and our relationships with others play a crucial role in our overall well-being. Cultivating meaningful connections with friends, family, and community is essential for nurturing our mental, emotional, and even physical health. However, in today's fast-paced world, it's all too easy to let our relationships fall by the wayside as we juggle countless commitments and responsibilities. In this chapter, we'll explore the importance of prioritizing meaningful connections and practical ways to cultivate and strengthen them in your life. One of the simplest ways to cultivate meaningful connections is to prioritize quality over quantity. Instead of spreading yourself thin trying to maintain a wide network of superficial relationships, focus on nurturing a few deep and meaningful connections with those who truly matter to you. Invest time and energy in building and maintaining these relationships, and prioritize activities that allow you to connect on a deeper level, such as shared hobbies, meaningful conversations, or simply spending quality time together. Another important aspect of cultivating meaningful connections is being present and fully engaged when interacting with others. In today's hyper-connected world, it's all too easy to get distracted by our phones, social media, and other distractions, causing us to miss out on the opportunity to truly connect with those around us. Practice active listening, empathy, and compassion in your interactions with others, and strive to create a safe and supportive space where they feel heard, valued, and understood. In addition to nurturing existing relationships, don't underestimate the power of making new connections and expanding your social circle. Seek out opportunities to meet new people who share your interests and values, whether it's through joining clubs or organizations, attending social events, or volunteering in your community. 
Building a diverse network of relationships can enrich your life in countless ways, providing support, inspiration, and new perspectives. Ultimately, cultivating meaningful connections is about investing in the relationships that bring joy, fulfillment, and meaning to your life. By prioritizing quality over quantity, being present and fully engaged in your interactions, and seeking out new opportunities for connection, you can create a rich tapestry of relationships that nourish your soul and enhance your overall well-being. So, take the time to nurture your connections with others and watch as your life becomes richer, fuller, and more meaningful as a result. Chapter 7. Engage in Acts of Kindness In a world that often feels divided and disconnected, acts of kindness have the power to bridge divides, cultivate compassion, and create a ripple effect of positivity and goodwill. Whether it's a small gesture of kindness towards a stranger or a thoughtful act of generosity towards a loved one, practicing kindness not only benefits others but also nourishes our own well-being in profound ways. One of the simplest ways to engage in acts of kindness is through random acts of kindness. These are small, spontaneous gestures of kindness that you can perform for others without expecting anything in return. Whether it's paying for someone's coffee, holding the door open for a stranger, or leaving a kind note for a coworker, these small acts of kindness can brighten someone's day and spread joy and positivity wherever you go. Another way to engage in acts of kindness is through intentional acts of generosity towards those in need. Whether it's volunteering your time at a local soup kitchen, donating to a charitable cause, or lending a helping hand to a friend in need, acts of generosity not only make a tangible difference in the lives of others, but also bring a sense of fulfillment and purpose to our own lives. In addition to outward acts of kindness, it's also important to practice self-kindness and self-compassion. Treat yourself with the same kindness and compassion that you would extend to a friend in need. Practice self-care, set boundaries, and prioritize your own well-being. By taking care of yourself, you'll be better equipped to show up with kindness and compassion towards others. Ultimately, acts of kindness are a powerful tool for fostering connection, compassion, and community in our world. Whether it's a small gesture of kindness towards a stranger or a thoughtful act of generosity towards a loved one, Every act of kindness has the power to make a difference. So, let's embrace the spirit of kindness and compassion and strive to make the world a brighter, more compassionate place, one act of kindness at a time. Chapter 8 He Embraced the Power of Self-Compassion In the pursuit of self-improvement and personal growth, it's all too easy to fall into the trap of self-criticism and self-judgment. We hold ourselves to impossibly high standards, berating ourselves for our perceived shortcomings and failures. However, cultivating self-compassion is essential for nurturing our well-being and fostering a sense of inner peace and acceptance. Self-compassion is the practice of treating ourselves with kindness, understanding, and acceptance, especially in moments of difficulty or suffering. It involves recognizing our own humanity, acknowledging that we are imperfect beings who are deserving of love and compassion, just as we are. One of the key components of self-compassion is self-kindness. Instead of beating ourselves up when we make mistakes or face challenges, self-kindness involves offering ourselves the same warmth, care, and support that we would offer to a friend in need. It means being gentle with ourselves, acknowledging our struggles, and offering ourselves words of encouragement and support. Another aspect of self-compassion is mindfulness. Mindfulness involves being present and fully aware of our thoughts, feelings, and experiences without judgment or resistance. By practicing mindfulness, we can cultivate a greater sense of self-awareness and self-compassion, allowing us to respond to our inner experiences with greater kindness and understanding. Finally, self-compassion also involves recognizing our common humanity. We are all human beings, bound by the shared experience of suffering and imperfection. When we recognize that we are not alone in our struggles, we can cultivate a greater sense of connection and empathy towards ourselves and others. 
Incorporating self-compassion into our daily lives can have profound effects on our well-being. It can help us navigate life's challenges with greater resilience and grace, cultivate a deeper sense of self-acceptance and self-love, and foster greater connection and compassion towards others. So, let's embrace the power of self-compassion and treat ourselves with the same kindness and understanding that we would offer to a beloved friend. By nurturing a compassionate relationship with ourselves, we can create a foundation of inner peace, acceptance, and well-being that radiates outwards to all areas of our lives. Chapter 9. Practice Mindful Movement In our increasingly sedentary lifestyles, it's important to prioritize movement as a form of self-care. However, exercise doesn't have to be strenuous or intense to be beneficial. Mindful movement, such as yoga, tai chi, or simply going for a leisurely walk, can be a powerful way to nourish both body and mind. Mindful movement involves bringing your full attention and awareness to the physical sensations of movement, as well as the breath. It's about being present in the moment and fully engaging with the experience of moving your body. By practicing mindful movement, you can cultivate greater body awareness, reduce stress and tension, and enhance your overall sense of well-being. One of the simplest forms of mindful movement is walking meditation. This involves walking slowly and deliberately, paying attention to each step and the sensations of movement in your body. As you walk, focus on the rhythm of your breath and the feeling of your feet making contact with the ground. Notice the sights, sounds, and smells around you and allow yourself to fully immerse in the experience of walking. Another form of mindful movement is yoga, which combines gentle movement with breath awareness and meditation. Yoga can help improve flexibility, strength, and balance, as well as promote relaxation and stress reduction. Whether you're practicing a gentle flow or holding a restorative pose, yoga provides an opportunity to connect with your body and cultivate mindfulness in movement. Tai Chi is another excellent practice for cultivating mindfulness in movement. This ancient Chinese martial art involves slow, flowing movements that promote relaxation, balance, and harmony. Tai Chi is often referred to as a moving meditation because it combines mindful movement with breath awareness and mental focus, helping to quiet the mind and cultivate inner peace. Incorporating mindful movement into your daily routine can have numerous benefits for your physical and mental well-being. Whether it's going for a mindful walk in nature, practicing yoga in your living room, or learning Tai Chi in a local class, find a form of mindful movement that resonates with you and make it a regular part of your self-care routine. By nourishing your body and mind through movement and mindfulness, you can cultivate a greater sense of balance, peace, and well-being in your life. As we conclude our exploration of mindful movement and its role in self-care, I encourage you to take what resonates with you and incorporate it into your daily life. Whether it's a leisurely stroll in nature, a gentle yoga practice, or a Tai Chi session, find moments to connect with your body and breath and embrace the present moment with openness and awareness. Remember that self-care is not a one-size-fits-all approach, and what works for one person may not work for another. The key is to listen to your body, honor your needs, and prioritize activities that nourish your physical, mental, and emotional well-being. As you continue on your journey of self-care and mindful living, may you find peace, balance, and joy in each moment. And may the practice of mindful movement serve as a powerful tool for cultivating greater awareness, presence, and well-being in your life. Thank you for joining me on this journey, and until next time, be well and take care.